Hello and welcome back to AJ on Perfect Solutions. I wanted to cover RX Fire in Svelte 3 today. Um, this is very similar to our RX Fire with React.js that was just published, so I'm going to put a card link up for that. We're going to use npx to get started, so in order to do that you can do npm i-g and then npx and it will install this dependency globally. Then the command we're going to be looking for is npx dgit and then svelte.js slash template. You can do this for any uh, git repo, but um, since we're using the template, that's where we'll start. So rxfire-svelte is where we're gonna put it. Uh, the next step is going to cd into rxfire-svelte, and we're gonna have to install a few dependencies. So today we're gonna be using Firebase, um, rxfire, and rxjs to get started. Now once you have all of your dependencies installed, you can run npm run dev and this will kick up, uh, it'll actually build out the rest into your public folder and then it will kick out a web server so that we can look at it on the browser. If everything's gone right, you should get that world famous hello world with the exclamation point. Now to get our feet wet a little bit here, we're going to start out with a very basic um, element that we're going to use. So we're going to create instructions and put that into our app.svelte. And all this is going to be is some straight up HTML. And it will take and just render this on the fly. So if you're coming from React and you're looking for a render class or anything like that, it's just straight up HTML because it's going to create it for us. So the rest of the items that we're going to create are sign in, um, for signing into Firebase, add cat for putting data into Firestore, we're going to list out cats, and then the last one there is an observable that we are looking to check and see if we've actually logged in. So the first thing that we're going to dive into here is the add cat. Now you can start out with a pretty basic file. It just has a script tag and then any HTML that we need to render. However, we're gonna import in Firebase and also this random.js so we can get some data. One thing to note as you're coming into this file, uh, we're gonna add a if statement to see if we're logged in. And what that's gonna allow us to do is either show a button that you can click to add a cat or it's um, gonna send back nothing to your HTML. Once we have that done, we want to call that function. So the way we do this is we define the function in the scripts area, but then we do a on colon click, and this is our event handler that will get passed, and we pass in the function directly to it. Now if we take a closer look at the add cat fact function that we're passing in, it's an asynchronous function because we're going to use a wait on the Firestore collection cat facts. All we're going to do is pick a random value from our JavaScript object that we passed in, and we're going to then update um, Firestore from this. So we'll just be passing in a bunch of random cat facts at this point. Now you might be asking yourself, well, we didn't import that directly from the Firebase from NPM. You're right. We're going to do that from our own Firebase.js file. And the reason for this is kind of consolidation. So within this file, we're going to start to define our Firebase auth, our Firebase Firestore, we're going to initiate it, and then the other key part here is the logged in observable that we're going to be using to check whether or not a user is logged in. And that's where RxFire starts to come into play. So first let's talk through the, the Firestore side of this. So at this point we're not really doing anything fancy if you've used Firestore or Firebase in the past. Um, we're just using Firestore to add some data to a Firestore collection using the add cat fact function. Now you may be asking yourself, what is this if user doing here? Well, the if block is just a simple statement that's provided by Svelte and it's going to display that HTML block in there whenever user's added. Now user, we're going to get into it in a little bit as we add the sign in button. Now I know I'm jumping around a little bit here, so let's go back into the Firebase file. I want to take a look at this auth state. This is one of the functions that are supplied by RxFire. And what auth state does is it allows us to take an, uh, and create an observable based on our current auth state. So this is going to pass in a user when it has it. And if it's not, then we're going to pass in um, null back to the logged in observable. 
This way we can check um, the streaming aspects of user and just subscribe to it wherever we need to. Now if we go back into our app.svelte file, you'll notice here that we have a component called signin, um, but it's got a user going into it. So this, this is very similar to like React.js where you're gonna use props to send in the observable that we created based on login. Now I know we could import this, but I just wanted to show a way to do props within Svelte. So if we take a look now at sign-in and how we're using um, that user prop, it's going to be right at the top of the file here, export light user, and that allows that prop to come in from a parent. So we're going to do another check on the if user again here in the sign-in and provide two buttons, one for signing in and one for signing out, depending on the current user state. And then we're going to use the Firebase uh, standard way of creating a pop-up and a sign-out button. Now when we jump into the list kit cat facts, um, we're going to take a look at what's coming out of Firebase again. The collection data is from RX Fire and Firestore. So we also need the RxJS operator for start with so that we can start with a empty array. So you can see here, we declared catfax as a collection data um, call, which is just a reference to an observable. And we're gonna pass in the order by from catfax reference um, in a descending order. So that way, anytime you click that button, it's always gonna put in the date and it'll sort it to the top one. A cool Svelte command, if you're used to like Angular, you're probably used to a for loop. If you use React.js, you're probably using a map function, but the uh, pounds on each is going to loop at our observable of cat facts and then we're going to create a cat fact from each of them. This way we can use whatever's in that object and put it out to the screen. You'll also notice we did another export let user and what that's going to allow us to do is check whether or not the user ID that created the cat fact is indeed yourself. So you'll get the heart cat eyes versus the smiley cat, depending on whether or not you actually created the cat fact. So go ahead and fire up that dev server once more and we'll take a look at how this works. So really without dealing with anything like state or Redux or anything like that, what we can do is just kind of utilize Firebase to do a lot of the heavy lifting and RxJS with RxFire uh, included in that to go ahead and like sign in, pass the user observable back. We can add cats, um, Firebase and RX Fire takes that observable and starts to look at it. Um, then we're checking whether or not the user that's logged in um, is the same user that created the cat fact and we are making decisions on that, which all was very, very easy to do um, in Svelte. I'm pretty impressed with it so far. I think there's probably going to be a lot of things added here in the near future, but unbelievable package, super fast to create something. I actually took our um, RX Fire React JS and almost dropped it word for word in there because all I had to do was switch out from a JS file to a Svelte file. Don't forget to check out AJ on Perfect Solutions. We're also on dev.to slash AJ as a cross post.